Hey people, I, um, I received a, a lot of comments in the past two years um, asking for um, how I uh, create my drums. Um, I'm not a drummer, so I only play bass, guitar and stuff, but uh, I don't play drums. Uh, I'm not Zimurog, you know, I'm not Sublast. Yeah. But uh, how do I create them? I use Guitar Pro in combination with Reaper and uh, Superior Drummer 2. And I want to show you how I do it right now on the screen. So let's switch to the, to, to the reaction view, uh, to the let's play view. Nuts! So, that's uh, Guitar Pro. Uh, no, yes, that's Guitar Pro, of course. First, we want to add a drum track. Percussion. Uh, yes. Here's a quick overview of... Uh, I hope you're familiar with uh, Guitar Pro. If you're not, please learn some Guitar Pro first. I mean, if you like... Uh, like like to if you want to know how I make my drums, I mean it's it, I think it's a very special way because uh, yeah, but I'm used to it. Yeah. Um, here's a quick overview of what the numbers mean in uh, in Guitar Pro. <clears throat> uh, what I use, what I use a lot is of course the bass drum, uh, the 36 and the 38, the acoustic snare, um, all the toms and all the cymbal stuff. What happens at first is I, I, I need to drink, uh, need to drink, yes. Good, uh, good idea, Farvan. I need to think of a drum beat. That's something Guitar Pro cannot do for you, unfortunately. Mm, something like, uh, I don't know. A pretty nice drum beat. Super metal, I gotta say. So let's write that down, okay? Uh, it's, it's, it's the bass drum. Snare. Uh, oh, that's right. Uh, copy that. And that's our drum beat. Nice! Um, or something... Uh, I use a lot because I write a lot of black metal songs. Is a lot of double bass. Um, quick hint, a quick tip: the C on your keyboard copies the note you're actually uh, you're you're that's focused. So bass, a double bass. <laughs> a snare on every two and four. Um, a cymbal on every four. And that's all black metal drum beat. Awesome. Now we have. Now we wrote the drums in Guitar Pro. Okay, let's let's make a, some kind of a full track out of it. Uh, okay. I mean, I cannot tell you how to write uh, the drums. I mean, it, it's still. Write what you like, okay? It's like writing guitar riffs or something. I cannot tell you what to write, but there are some rules, you know? Don't make something like, let's, let's try something that's, that doesn't make any sense at all. Something like that. So that's, that's, not, a, that's not a drum beat, okay? Drums follow certain rules. Unless you want to write progressive metal or jazz or... I don't know. Close. Okay, so that's our drum track. Now we save it. Saving is very important because uh, if you don't save the project, you will not able you will not be able to export it uh, properly. So let's name that file. Uh, what the file? Yes. And now comes the very important stuff. We want to make a MIDI file out of it because uh, Reaper. Um, because we can import that MIDI file into Reaper and use uh, Superior Drummer to make the drums sound kind of real. Uh, so, file, export, MIDI. What the file? So there's our MIDI file. What the file? The Yes, we export it. Uh, open Reaper or any program you use, any DAW. Uh, I don't know, Reaper's the 
only one I use and uh, it's, 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 it was the first one, first one and I still use it because I like it. Uh, take the MIDI file and drop it, click OK and what the f yes. And now you got your drums. Hit play and you hear nothing because we did not add um, superior drummer yet. So FX, tune track. Uh, <laughs> I got uh, the cult drums too, but uh, I want to use the tune track because of them, yeah. So that's the tune track interface. And now it should sound like real drums already. So let's see. Click, play. Cool. So that's. Uh, I mean, you can adjust the the sound of the snare, for example, here. Etc. You can uh, you can adjust a lot of stuff. What I do a lot is uh, I um, edit the MIDI file directly by double clicking the the. Um, the track, double click, <laughs> like explaining something to a, to, to, to a monkey, you know, double click. Okay, and uh, so that's the MIDI file. And when I hit play, you can see the, the, that thing here, what's it called, the cursor. Uh, you can see the cursor moving, wow. So that's basically the drums, what you see here. Uh, here's our double bass the snare, the uh, hi-hat, and the two crash symbols. And what I do is, when I'm not really happy with the drums, uh, I, I add uh, some special stuff like the china, maybe, uh, where was it? For example, here. Uh, that's China. Now. Simple stuff. And you can adjust the, the volume of every single hit. Like that. Yeah, and... Uh, that's how it works. Oh, there's, there's a special thing I, I want to show you, but I can't. Oh, wait, yeah, I can. See that down below? That's also the, si the, the, the single notes or the single hits because it's drums. Yes, <laughs> uh, we can. Select them all and adjust the volume just right, uh, right here by uh, clicking the mouse button. Makes it, uh, makes it sounds a little more like a human when you adjust the volume of the single hits. Okay, that sounds like um, uh, Judas Iscariot. Thy dying light, sorry. <clears throat> okay, that's all the tricks I use. Sometimes I think, uh, hmm, maybe the, the, the hi-hat is not nice, I take the the closed hi-hat that needs to be a bit louder so I, I do that a lot and uh, that's the reason why making drums is uh, the most time-consuming thing because you can you can spend hours just with this stuff here with oh that's that's a little bit too loud oh, there needs to be some echo Maybe, maybe not. Is is this snare on the right place, or should I, you know, make something different? Okay, that's that's crap. But yeah. So, but that's how I create drums. Since a lot of people asked, I thought I should make a quick video about it. You know, guitar is easy. You plug the guitar in, play the song, uh, do some mistakes record them again, 
and that's that's ev that's all you know the drums even though they are ready when you import them i mean the structure of the drums are ready of course and it sounds perfect because it's not a, r a real human sorry to all real humans i know a, a real drummer is a thousand times better than a machine but uh you still need to adjust so much stuff and it needs to fit the the song and um, the sound etc i gotta say i love that spending hours with such things but i can think of people who, who, who would say uh, that's too much work for me i gotta learn drums and yeah you should totally do that i can't play drums here yes nothing more to say here i think we're finished Where's the finished color? There it is. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, cheers. And uh, see you next time. Also, ich bin ganz ehrlich mit euch. Der Typ hier ist richtig scheiße. Pah. Das geht gar nicht. Was soll das? Was soll das, huh?